Hello everyone, this is Grant, your friendly neighborhood OpenShift team member. Today I wanted to show you how to install Red Hat Code Ready workspaces on the OpenShift Online Pro system. So what I'm going to do is I just went to OpenShift.com. I'm going to click on Login. And it's going to take me to the Login Wizard. I'm going to authenticate to the Pro tier. So I'll click on Open that web console here. And I have already authenticated to it. And so you see I have four or four projects running over here. So the first thing I want to do is download Code Ready Workspaces. So to do that, I'm going to actually go to access.redhat.com. Then I'm going to click on Products and Services, View All Products, and then select Code Ready Workspaces for OpenShift. And on this page, you can see that you have access to Release Notes, Administration Guide, as well as to download the latest Code Ready Workspaces. So I'm going to click on that. And it should say your download should start automatically. So you can see I'm using the Windows operating system here, and this is going to download a tar file for me. What I want to do is actually just copy this link address because I'm going to use my Linux system to do this. So let me clear the screen here. <coughs> and I'm going to make a directory called temp. And inside of that directory, I'm going to curl the URL. And I'm going to do dash O for output. And I'm just going to call this workspace.tar. And that will download the necessary files that I need. And then I'll move that into my temp directory because I forgot to change into that directory. And I'm going to tar xvf workspace.tar. That gives me a couple of things. That gives me a config script, a deploy script, and a readme script. To actually run this, you first want to log in to the OpenShift container platform that you want to deploy to. So I am going to um, go back to my OpenShift console and click on my username and select copy login command. And then I'll go back to my terminal, paste that in, and now I'm logged in. Okay, and you can see the same four projects there. Now what we want to do is actually run that deploy script. If I run um, deploy.sh-help, oops, let's see, I gotta go into that directory, run that command again. It'll list all of the available options for me. And you can dig into the different options and, and whatnot, um, or read through the administration guide. But right now, all I want to do is pass in the um, deploy command and this is going to give me an error message and I wanted to show this to explain why because by default if you don't pass in a namespace or a project it's going to use code ready now because I'm on the online pro tier um, and it's a multi-tenant environment someone has obviously already used code ready on that luckily you can pass in a dash p equals and then your own project name so i'm going to say g shipley and this will create a new project or a namespace called g shipley and then deploy the code ready workspace um, and che operator inside of that project and this takes about three or four minutes to complete Okay, it looks like the deployment has finished correctly, so let's just run through what actually happened here. When I ran the deploy script, it actually installed Postgres. It installed Keycloak, which is the authentication system that we're going to be using, and it deployed Che. So now let's take a look at the OpenShift console, and we can see that we have a project called GShipley. That is where my instance of Che uh, was created. So the first thing we want to do is click the route for code ready workspaces and we're going to register a user. So I'll just click in register and you can set this up um, using OAuth or, or other things. So let's just uh, gshipley at redhat.com username gshipley put a password in here register. Okay. So now I have an account on Che. Um, so what we want to do is actually load up the Keycloak dashboard at this time. And we want to go to the administration console. And the password 
and username is admin admin. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is change that password, right? So if we go down to users, um, view all users, we can see admin, I'll click on him, credentials, we want to make that, uh, turn that off and change this to a secure password. And we're going to change the password. Now we can go back to the users and you'll also probably want to turn off um, registration, right? And so let's see how we do that here. Log in, user registration is set to on. Let's change that to off and save those changes. Okay, so now if we go back to our other tab, we can see that I am in Code Ready Workspace. So let's go ahead and start coding. I'm going to select a Spring Boot application. So I'll just use the Spring Boot Quick Start. And then I'll click on Add or Import Projects and select Git. And I am going to go over to GitHub. And I'm going to pull down a Spring Boot uh, project here that I've been working on, which is the back end for a game. So I'm going to get that URL, come over here and paste it in and click on add and then scroll down and select create and open. So what this is going to do is it's actually going to spin up a unique workspace for me running inside of Red Hat Code Ready workspaces that's a, an actual container inside of my OpenShift account. So if we go down here, you can see that it's making a workspace right now. And this takes just a few seconds to complete. Okay, it looks like our workspace is up and running. We can see that it's uh, importing the project over here. It's doing some initial um, stuff, starting the Java language server. So this is Eclipse uh, Che inside of Red Hat Code Ready Workspaces. So we can look at our source code here. If we go down to source main Java and expand all of this and look at the Wild West application. Um, a, a few cool things you can do here. First, you can come over to your terminal and let's CD into our application. I can Maven clean package. And remember, this is all running inside of my OpenShift account on OpenShift Online Pro. And so I can, you know, access this workspace from anywhere. I had a build success there. Um, so now let's actually run this Spring Boot application. I can do java-jar target, and I want to uh, run the Wild West 10.jar. We'll start that up, and this will start up the Spring Boot application. And it also creates a route for me so that I can access this application from inside my browser. So let's look at that real quick. I'll click this plus arrow and then click on servers. And this is the route for my workspace, uh, for my application that's deployed on my code ready workspace inside of the container on OpenShift. So I'll click that and this is expected. This is just a backend API. So if I throw in like, oh, I don't know, egg, we can see that this says every game needs an Easter egg. That's the uh, REST API call. And so let's go ahead and make a change to that and see how the flow works. So let's see. I don't know where I put the um, test <laughs> or the egg. Uh, it's been a while. So let me find it here. Here it is. Request mapping equals egg. So let's just change this to say uh, code ready workspaces. And then I'm going to save that. And now my flow is uh, pretty similar to what I would expect as a Java developer. I keep, there we go. Start a new terminal up here. Okay, CD into that. And let's do a Maven clean package. So we're gonna recompile the application. <coughs> And do a java-jar and then target wild west. And we'll start up our application here. And let's refresh this page. And we can see that it says code ready workspaces. 
So it's a pretty good um, IDE and environment. It has everything that you would expect, including including code completion. So if I type in new game here and uh, want to set game mode, um, it'll complete all of that for me. But I don't want to do that, so let's delete that line. Now let's take a look at the OpenShift web console again. You can see inside of my project I have uh, Eclipse J running, I have Key Cloak, and I have Postgres. And then here is the Docker image for my workspace. Okay, And here's all the available routes and traffic. We can see it's using one 0.6 gigs of memory but what is super nice about this is I now have access to my IDE from anywhere in the world um, deployed on my online pro account just based on the user credentials that I created all right that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and I also hope you enjoy Red Hat Code Ready workspaces